Now, if you're like me and you want to keep that youthful skin and that energy as you get older, well, you're in the right place. Because today we're going to talk about something that's super important for anyone who's above the age of 25. And that's how to slow down your aging process and have a beautiful youthful skin. Because at some point, I think everyone wants to know the answer. Now, if you're expecting me to talk about creams and what I apply on my face and the whole skincare routine, well, honestly, I don't do really much and that's not what I'm going to talk about. But yes, what I'm going to talk about will slow down your aging process and it's very scientific and most of it, I even follow it myself. So let's get started. Now, aging is a very natural process and it is a big part of our life and no matter what you do, it is inevitable. But with the right tips and tricks, you can actually slow down aging. And not just that, you will feel amazing and you will look much younger than your actual age. And most of the time, we try to guess someone's age mostly on how the person's skin looks and feels. And if you're thinking that maybe it's all on genes, well, yes, genes do play a very small role, but most of it is not really your genes. And that's what I'm exactly going to tell you. Now, the very first thing and one of the most important things when it comes to slowing down your aging process is something that's called autophagy. Now, for those who don't know what autophagy is, in simple words, autophagy is a cell cleanup process. It's a way where your body gets rid of your old cells or any cells that are damaged, and it also recycles them to make new and healthy ones which reduce your wrinkles and also improves the elasticity of your skin. Because in the end, healthy skin cells is the key to maintaining a very youthful appearance. So how do you achieve autophagy? The answer is pretty simple and that is fasting. Now you don't really need to do a fast that is very fancy or you don't need to fast for days. All you need to do is choose a fast that suits you. Now let's say you have a lot of guests coming at home and constantly throughout the day there is continuously a lot of guests coming in and slowly you start noticing that your house is turning into a mess and you want to clean up. So when would you clean your house? Most probably you will wait for the guests to leave completely and then you would start your cleanup. Now your cells, they work the same way. If you are constantly eating, your cells cannot do a self cleanup because just like your guests, food is constantly coming in. So if you want your cells to do a cleanup, you have to fast or not eat. And that's where your body goes in autophagy. And one of the most famous fasts that has proven to work when it comes to slowing down the aging process is a 16 by 8 intermittent fasting where you don't eat for 16 hours. And in the eight hour span, which is mostly from 12 to 8 in the evening, is where you eat. Now, I normally do a fast, which is a 14 by 10, which is for 14 hours is where I'm not really eating. That includes the time that I'm sleeping. And the remaining 10 hours is where I'm consuming food, but not continuously. I'm leaving a lot of gaps even there between my lunch and my dinner and even my breakfast. And for me, this is something that has been a little more sustainable than the 16 by 8 fast. So no matter what fasting methods you're choosing, just make sure that it's something that works for you and it's more sustainable. I also have a video where I'm talking about different fasting methods so you can watch that later and decide for yourself. And fasting is not just in science, but it's also there in many religious practices because it has a very important role, not just in your skin, but also your overall health. On the other hand, yes, there are people who would tell you that you need to eat six times a day. Well, that's honestly great if you're looking to achieve something very specific with your body. But overall, when it comes to your skin especially and aging, it's quite the opposite. So try to fast, not because it's only going to help you with slowing down aging, but it is a fantastic thing for your body overall. Now, the very next thing you should go for is stress plants. Now, stress plants are the plants that have been exposed to very stressful conditions. And when they are exposed to these stressful conditions, they produce a lot of compounds like your antioxidants, your vitamins, and even your phytonutrients. And these compounds are very beneficial for your skin and to slow down the whole aging process. So make sure that you try to consume most of these stress plants in your everyday meals. So make sure that you're consuming bright red, colored, dark leafy vegetables and even fruits. They have a lot of polyphenols and a lot of nutrients that will help your skin. A few of them are your kale, your Brussels sprouts, your cabbage, your cauliflower. Then you also have some green leafy vegetables like your spinach. You also have berries like your blueberries, strawberries, raspberries and even blackberries. You also have some herbs like your basil, oregano, rosemary and thyme. And even some root vegetables like your carrots, beetroots and even your radishes. And then you also have certain legumes like your chickpeas, your lentils, or your dals, and even your beans. Now the next is have foods that have NMN molecules. 
I'm not talking about M&Ms, I'm talking about NMNs. Now this sounds a little scientific, but I'll try and explain it in a simple way. Now have foods that have NMN compounds. Now NMN is a very important molecule for our cells. And NMN produces something that is called an NAD plus molecule, which is shown to support healthy aging by enhancing that cellular repair. And it's also something that we need all our life. But as we get older, this NAD plus molecule starts to decline. And that's also when you start noticing things like having lesser energy or poor cellular repair. But if you consume a good amount of NMNs, it just sounds like M&Ms, it will support your healthy aging. It will also give you a lot of energy and you will have great DNA repair. And not just that, you will also notice that in your skin. And a few foods that are rich in your NMNs are your broccoli, your tomatoes, your cucumbers, and even your mushrooms. All of these are rich in NMNs, so just try and consume them in one of your meal at least. Now the next is what I call your dopes AC. Now this is not a brand or it's not a dope AC. This is basically your deep fried, oily, processed and anything to do with sugar. And these are the foods that you should really try and stay away from. Because most of your deep fried food will have a lot of unhealthy fats, they'll have a lot of trans fats which your body doesn't really require. You'll also have a lot of saturated fat that comes from oily food. Processed food is literally bad for you. It has a lot of empty calories and there are tons of things that it doesn't really have. And even the foods that have high sugar in it will just keep raising your blood sugar levels, your insulin will go haywire and they don't really have any nutrients in it that are good for the body. So try to avoid all the foods that are deep fried, that are oily, that are processed, and also foods that have a lot of sugar. And yes, I will agree with you that these foods are tasty, but it comes with a cost, and one of them is that it speeds up your aging process. So if you don't want that to happen, just try and stay away from all these foods that come under these categories. Now the next is alcohol and cigarettes. Now when it comes to alcohol or cigarettes, both in any way are not good. And if you're someone who consumes a lot of alcohol or a lot of cigarettes, you will notice how your skin feels the older you get. In fact, both of them really speed up your aging process. And they damage your skin on a very cellular level. And if you're someone who consumes a lot of alcohol, you will notice it sooner or later. So just try and stay away from it, especially if your aim is to have younger looking skin for longer. And I'm not just talking about your cigarettes, but I'm talking all the variants of it also, which is your vape and your e-cigarettes. And even if you're smoking anything like your hookah and all these things, just try and avoid all of them. Because alcohol and smoking, they release a lot of these free radicals and cause a lot of oxidative stress. So on a cellular level, there is a lot of damage happening. So it's best you just try and avoid all of these. Now the next when it comes to liquids, just try and only stick to water. No fruit juices, no sweetened beverages, nothing. Now water is what we generally need as a basic thing. But when it comes to your sugar and your salt and every other nutrient that we require, that can come from your food. Now the reason why no fruit juices, it's very simple, is because when you blend a fruit, it loses all its fiber and what you get, the entire extract, that's just pretty much sugar. And with your sweetened beverages, it's pretty much again just sugar or fructose or anything that will raise your sugar levels. So just try and only stick to water and anything else that we require, which is your sugar or your salt, they will all come from your food. And water is very hydrating for your skin and the humans in the end are 70% water. So just make sure you stick to water and at any point if you feel like having something on the sweeter side, you can go for coconut water. Now the next that helps with slowing down the whole aging process is that you need to get some sun. Now I know a lot of people will say otherwise but the sun literally charges everything on this planet. It doesn't just give you vitamin D but it also is very good for your overall skin health. So what you should do is just make sure that every day you're getting at least 15 to 20 minutes of the morning sun or the evening sun where it's not very intense and it's not very harsh on your skin and make sure at that point you're exposing most part of your skin to the sun so you're not really wearing a lot of layers of clothes because if you want to get the healing properties of the sun you have to make sure that the sun directly touches your skin now the last three things that i'm going to tell you are directly and indirectly very important but the most important is the last one now the very first from these three things is your exercise now we all know that exercise is good but that doesn't really mean that you need to go to a gym you can just do any exercise that you can stick to if you love to go for a long walk in a garden you can just go for it if you love to play football you can go for it if you love to dance do it but just make sure that you're doing some kind of voluntary movement daily 
because if you don't like going to the gym or you don't like doing something very specific you're likely not going to stick with it so make sure you do some kind of activity at least for around 30 minutes a day and apart from that just as you exercise your overall body your face also has a lot of muscles and most of us don't really exercise those facial muscles so if you're looking to tone down those facial muscles and tighten your skin i'm going to add the link of the video in the description now the next thing that's really important is your sleep. Now when you sleep, your body goes in a repair mode. So that is a time where not just your skin or your hair, but even your muscles are being repaired at that point of time. And having a good night's sleep is very important when it comes to slowing down your aging. Because if you don't sleep well, your skin is not repaired effectively. And you will notice a lot of those lines and wrinkles appear. Because at this point, you're more in a stress mode rather than being in a repair mode. Now, if you constantly don't sleep well or you don't get good quality sleep, you will notice that your skin gets a bit more dull, you will start getting dark circles, and even you will have a lot of puffiness. And that is because of a lot of reduced blood flow to your skin. So just make sure you're sleeping for at least six to eight hours every night where your body goes through a deep stage of sleep or it goes through these REM cycles where the actual repair happens. Having a good night's sleep makes a very big difference and it's quite noticeable. And the last and the most important out of all of these that I've mentioned is your stress. Now stress is one thing that can make you age really fast. And if you're always stressed, whether it's your family, your friends, maybe you're overthinking a lot, your exercise, your diet, your self-care routines, and anything that you're trying to protect your skin and to slow down aging, is just going to be useless. Because stress in the end causes a lot of oxidative stress and it speeds up your aging. And it's not just your skin health, but it's also your hair loss that's a part of being stressed. That's why people who are always stressed tend to look a little older. And when you stress, your hormones go all over the place and that is what affects your skin cells. So to lower your stress, just try to do a lot of simple things like your controlled breathing or even things like pranayams. Take some time out from your day to do simple things like even meditating or maybe some therapeutic things like drawing, painting or even if you want to dance. Go for a walk in the park or anything that just feels nice or anything that just takes your stress away. Because what this will do is that it will release a lot of your happy hormones that will not just light up your mood, but also will help your skin. What I do when it comes to lowering stress is I try to practice a lot of controlled breathing. And I also try to engage myself in some kind of sports which helps me lower my stress. Now you have to understand that your skin is a reflection of everything you do to your body. So do things that protect it. Yes, genes do play a role when it comes to having younger looking skin and slowing down the aging process. But more important than that is your lifestyle habits, which determine the age of your skin. What we eat, how we stress and all those little things adds up to slowing down or speeding up the aging process. And if you are consistent with following these things, you will surely see the results. So do try it out and let me know. And until we meet again next, don't stress and be awesome. Russia that.